All right, siding's on most of it. We still have the front to work on and a little bit on the back, but my guys are doing pretty good. It's an 18 foot garage door. Yeah, we still have work to do, but we're getting there. A little one and a half ton AC unit for the apartment. All right, tile floor for the little living room and kitchen. There we go. So you guys can see. So yeah, living room, kitchenette, <clears throat> laundry. Front door. We're putting the front porch out here, front steps too today, and bedroom. Bathroom, pocket door, shower, and Walk-in shower, zero clearance. So, well that's just job shot. This is the little mother-in-law suite. Let's get on to the next one. What's going on guys? All right, so like the thumbnail says, we do have another $200,000 plus job contract signed. Uh, we're gonna be taking care of it. I'll try to throw some pictures up if I have them. I'll, um, you're gonna have some video of the other job sites. These are just the job sites we got going on right now. I'm currently just sitting babysitting a job site right now because the customer doesn't want people that she doesn't know, not including me, but other people in the house. So I got to be here for another 45 minutes. It's, and it's actually in the contract too, so it's no big deal. I already charged for this. This is the chart time that I charged for. So now I'm making a video. But uh, these, vi these uh, job sites, we got uh, two just broke ground. You saw in the first, just dumped some pea gravel. We just broke ground on that one, put the walls up. We're going to be pouring concrete for the... Uh, the crawl space and start framing next week should be the first or second week of october and then we can um you know just keep framing on that one and the contract i just signed we're going to be getting that one up and going we're still about four weeks out on trusses and engineer floor uh, trusses as well so we got a little bit of time on that one i did just have a um two by six and two by four interior with uh sheathing uh delivered today for that job so i mean it's this is what's going on and then this is basically is we're booked out i did actually already sign and get approval for and sign a kitchen remodel and again this kitchen those cabinets are about five weeks out so we got that to do so that's all this year as well so we are booked in for the year we're rolling into next year and i do have one addition to frame out next year and then we are we're pretty much not free but we have a couple other jobs i do the next steps and kind of what I, the basis of this video as you look at these job sites here the basis of this video is you know the next steps how i'm going to grow my business for next year uh i'm basically going to do the exact same thing we're doing this year no employee w2 employees all subcontractors that worked out great for this year uh just you know and i again there's a couple there's a bunch of there's a bunch of you know subcontractors i've had issues with in this year too but we'll get we'll get through them uh, there <laughs> I don't have to hire them anymore which I'm not um, the ones that I do have like you know I keep happy and we basically keep working so uh, for next year I do want to you know the only progression from this is we're basically building miniature houses so we'll just be going into the actual new build actual building houses with foundations and stuff uh, that's probably the only thing that's about as big as I want to get this business I don't want to do anything bigger than that and I don't want to do too many. I don't, I, you know, I, I've got a good set of crew, good subcontractors that like me and I like them. We work well together. They do quality work and um, that's where I want to keep it. I can bring other people on, but I, you know, I got to vet them first with smaller jobs and it's, it's time consuming and, you know, we got to build up trust and everything like that. So um, I do need to find like a quality painter that has, you know, I can get on their sky. I do have a painter, but he's a little bit. Um, you know, it's, I'm not, you know, like the jobs that I give him, he's trying to fit in, if that makes sense. So I need to be able to schedule and be like, and tell my customers, Hey, painter will be here from this day to this day to finish and start and finish and et cetera, et cetera, which I don't have yet. So, 
Um, there's a couple of things that need to shore up on my end for that kind of that kind of uh, subcontractors, but um, it's working out. So, yeah, this year is obviously going to be the best year yet in the business. We, you know, we've got one, two, three, three over, jobs over two hundred thousand for this year. One was almost is closer to three hundred thousand than two hundred thousand. Um, and we, and then we, next year we've got another addition we're going to be doing. Um, it's going to be between one and two hundred thousand dollars. A um, couple of frame out jobs and then one we're looking at one full house build, but that's still in the planning phases. No, no, no actual. I just gave them like kind of a base square foot price. Um, there's no contract, no money exchange hands yet. So I'm not charging them for an estimate yet, which I will. Uh, all these jobs I charge for estimates. Uh, the job that I'm currently on, this is a bathroom. You've probably already seen the video if I already put it in yet. Uh, pretty big bathroom, 140, 160 square foot bathroom. Uh, this one it was just basically gave them price via you know sight unseen quote you know quote remote quote free. They liked the price, came over, signed, and that was pretty much it. So that's why we're here. I will say the latest two hundred thousand dollar six figure job that I got, I literally got that from Facebook advertisement. That's ex directly related to it. Facebook advertisement. They saw us working at our other Farmington job because I, I posted it on Facebook and I did like I paid like a hundred bucks or something to you know blast it out there for advertising to get more views. They saw it and they contacted me and I actually didn't see their initial um, initial reach out or you know they reached out to me for you know uh, as a messenger. I didn't see that because I didn't get a me I didn't get an extra alert that they did that. So it was quite delayed for me actually getting back to them because it was like four or five days, which is way too long, <laughs> way too long to get back to somebody. So. Um, yeah, that's basically, that's how I got, that's how I got to, uh, that job, which is fantastic. So yeah, I've dumped a little bit of money into Facebook marketing, but it's obviously paying out dividends. I don't do obviously home advisor. I don't do any of that. That is horse crap. Don't do that kind of stuff unless you're, you, you can be Johnny on the spot with your, you know, responses and calling customers and stuff like that. But even then I've, I've heard so many bad, like they're really bad reviewed. Uh, I stay off Yelp. I don't do any Yelp because th th those Yelp is bad. I do do use Google, but for some reason, like my Google reviews have been throttled. So I got like five or six Google reviews that are not even posting. So I focus on Facebook. I'm not sure why. I've tried to reach out to Google for with it, but it is what it is. Um, still doing good work, and then I try to um, you know post on Facebook as much as I can with the work we're doing. And I do do videos with on. I post videos that way people can see. You know, it's not just a picture. It's actually me talking. Um, they can see me through mirrors and stuff like that, or if I do like a self-portrait mode or whatever, so they can see a you know a guy behind the mask kind of thing, a guy behind the video. So it's you know they, I multiple customers have reached out to me saying they like the videos because you know it's a video, so they can see stuff. So keep that in mind, guys. All right, so for 2023, we're going to be focusing on the larger projects. Uh, I do do the smaller stuff still. We just did a small you know tear a deck down that was horrible the worst deck i've ever seen built period not even remotely close to code horrible that's why they're paying us to tear it down it was about 600 square foot and then that turned into about a ten thousand dollar job of us um doing some wood rot repair and stuff like that so that's uh that's ongoing right now too and i have a, a smaller uh crew a two-man crew for that as well um they are not near they are not as reliable yet they're they're wanting the larger work that i have but you know i, I do i'm for i'm up front with them telling you know, I have reservations because of how reliable they can and can't be kind of thing. So, um, and then they know it, you know, if they want the work, you've got to be Johnny on the spot. You got to show up kind of thing. So, and that's going forward. Like I have, um, that job, I hired my masonry crew and they are absolutely Johnny on the spot. I called them yesterday and they called me back. Hey, we can be on site at like nine 30 tomorrow morning being today. And so I let the customer know they, they approved the change order. And then they're there at like 8:45. Like they're on, like getting contractors to show up is hard enough. When they show up early, I can never, never complain. So, yeah. Um, so next year, uh, more of the same. Uh, we focus on the larger projects. And again, if you guys, I'll link in the description if I can. Um, you know, big projects, managing big projects. All you have to do is break them down into smaller jobs, and that's how you get them done. So, like, if it's a, a standalone addition, you know, you got to start with obviously planning phases. I know footings you know, foundation work, and then you can build up from there, just build up, you know, as much as you want to. And then that's how, you know, big jobs get done is to turn them into a bunch of small jobs. So 
another two hundred thousand dollar job that's going to put us uh really um obviously a lot of revenue not profit i mean not it's not all profit don't get me wrong we we have you know this is the most revenue we've done i think actually this is the most revenue for this year that we've done than i think the last three years combined if that makes sense so yeah that's 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 definitely actually maybe in four years we'll see but yeah we got we got some we got some work ahead of us but again it's not all me i've been subbing out a lot of work you guys have seen the basement we've been working on it's been most of my time for the last couple months here has been on the basement which when it's done man it's gonna be a weight off my shoulders and my wife's so we're both stressed out about it but we'll get it done for sure um so i'm trying to think of any other questions i've gotten before with these uh, large jobs but I mean, that's pretty much it. I'll keep, you know, even though this is going into October and we're getting into um, November, might be the slow season. This is where I, you know, ramp up and I do a lot of, um, I pay for a lot of advertising and I want to book out my time. I want to meet people who have projects that don't really, they're not ready for this year because it's coming into Christmas. But next year, you know, I'm top of mind. Um, they already, you know, they can pay for estimates and we can do it. You know, we can, we can break ground Marches or so if you want to in this Michigan area. So, now's not the time to ramp back when you're busy it's the time where you push money into advertising into your website you know get out there be in front of people's that way they you're on top of mind you know you you're right on the front of them as far as their multi, their medias and their facebook's and their phone that way they can when they're ready to make a decision boom you're right there they already know you so now's the time for me to actually you know even though i can't do any more work this year as far as booking it i i want to act like i can and just punch it out there and get it get it going so I think that's about all I've got for this video, you guys. Enjoy. These are the vi these are the job sites we've been working on. And uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Something I can improve on. Uh, things that you guys might have questions on. Let me know. And you can always um, reach out to me via email. Um, or my Patreon page, too. I'll link in the description. So I appreciate it. Thanks.